Hi, this is Rachel from Pure Photoshop Actions, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use our blogging templates and how to um, add uh, the images in with the clipping mask. Um, I think once you see how quick and easy it is to do, um, you'll be excited to try it yourself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have one of our blogging templates selected, and I'm going to grab an image that I'd like to use. I, so I want to put this image into this uh, rectangle. I've selected my move tool here. I'm going to take that and drag it. Uh, then we'll close this so that we can see. But it's not really in the right spot. Um, so what we need to do first, we're going to drag it up here so that it's right above the... Um, so this layer with the photo is right above the slot that I'd like to use in the template. Um, okay, the next problem we have is this photo is obviously too large. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click Control T. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it'll be Command T. That'll bring up our uh, free transform box. So, I'm going to grab this handle right here. I'm going to uh, click my Shift key and I'm going to click it and drag it down. So, Shift click. And I'm going to drag it down again. I'm using a Mark II, so my files are pretty big. This isn't resized for web yet. Um, so click and drag, click and drag, I'm dragging this down. Uh, so your files might not be quite as big. Um, okay, but that, you know, that looks like it's going to be a pretty good fit right there. So I'm going to say, okay, I accept that. So it's still there, but look, it doesn't really fit. How are we going to fix that? Okay, I'm going to click my Alt key. If you're on a command, it's going to be your Option key. So Alt and then I'm going to hover my cursor between the two layers I want to, you know, connect together. So I, th I want this picture in this slot, so Alt, hover my cursor over and click, and we've got a clipping mask. Now she's right inside that rectangle where she needs to be. Uh, pretty easy, huh? Okay, so let's grab the next picture. We're just going to do it again, um, and you'll see how quick and easy this is. So again, Move tool, we're going to click, we're going to drag. Oh, but look, again, wrong spot. No problem. We'll click it, we'll drag it. Oh, but it's still too big. So what are we going to do? We're going to do our uh, Control T. And I'm going to grab my little handlebar, Shift, click, drag down. Whoops, I like totally threw it over there. Um, I hate it when I do that. OK, so we're going to say, just kidding, not that. So, okay, let's try it again. We're going to do Control T. We're going to grab our handlebar. We're going to shift, click, drag. Don't drag too far like I did. Shift, click, drag. And here we go. Shift, click, drag. Yeah, I should probably just have resized these before I started this, but I was like, oh, it's quiet. I'm going to do this. So, um, my kids were all getting in bed. So, um, we're just about there. Okay, shift, click, drag. We're just about where it's going to fit nice. Okay, so see, she's kind of looking, you know, okay, like she'll fit okay. So I'm going to select that. And see, it's not going to fit exactly. Sometimes the pictures won't fit exactly uh, to the constraints that you've cropped it. It's okay. You know, it's still going to be cute. Um, here we go. So I've got Alt. I hovered between and I clicked. So now she's here, and you know, I have a little play. I can say, okay, up, down, but I think, you know, there's going to work. Um, so, and that's just, I can continue to do this. Um, so we can do a little dance here, say it with me. Okay, so we've got our move tool selected. We're going to drag it over. We'll close that so we can see this. Um, we're going to drag this. We're going to say, okay, we want this over this rectangle. Oh, but again, too big. So what are we going to do? We're going to do our command T or control T, depending on which platform you're using. Uh, shift, click, and drag it down. I'm just going to do that till it's the right size. Shift, click, drag it down. Shift, click, drag it down. Shift, click. Okay, so see, we've got it just, it's just really simple. See how quickly it's just all coming together. Really, the hardest thing is, you know, you're going through your picture saying, well, which ones do I want to showcase? I don't know. They're all so cute. You know, I love this session. So that's going to be the trickiest part, really, is just selecting which pictures you want. Once you've got those, you're pretty good. Okay, so she's going to fit about right there, I think. 
we say, okay, we got that. Okay, so I'm going to hold down my Alt key, or Option key if I'm on a Mac, and I'm going to click right here, and oh look, there she is, she's so cute. Okay, and I've got that resized. Um, here's like kind of a tricky little thing, let's try this. And this one, I thought, oh, I kind of want to get a close-up of her face, maybe. Um, so I thought I would just show with this one. Okay, so again, Move Tool. I'm going to drag this over. Okay, we're going to uh, bring that down. Okay, but again, okay, where do I want it? I want it here, so I'm dragging it over. I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I'm going to come over here, and I need to resize it first. So let's kind of pull it so that we've got it in the right spot. Okay, so Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac, Control T on a PC. Shift, click, drag it down. Now we're going to kind of watch because I don't really want the whole picture in there because it's not really the right crop, obviously, as this is horizontal and that little window is vertical. But I thought, you know, her face is so cute. We could just do like a real close up of her. So let's, let, we'll try it. We might have to resize it again in a minute. Let's see. So I say, okay, that works. So I'm going to click my Alt key, Option if I'm on a Mac, but Alt, and drag my cursor so it's right between these two, and click it. And so now, you know, I can bring this up so we've got kind of a close-up. Even though there's a lot of image around here that I'm not using, I've still got it. So um, there you go. That's just a very quick way. Uh, to put these together. You can showcase kind of what it's going to look like to have a grouping of photos. They're great for blogs. It keeps everything kind of tidy and fun. Other things, you know, I think they're great to show clients because you can show them, you know, look what happens if you have this grouping of pictures. It's so much more powerful than just one on the wall. Sometimes a grouping of images can really tell a story. Um, and I think that that can help increase your sales and uh, it's just a really great tool. Um, anyway, so these are all put together now. We're all set. And uh, yeah, that was so easy, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to visit us on our Facebook fan page. There's always somebody there to answer questions. Um, anyway, this is Rachel for Pure Photoshop Actions. Thank you. Bye-bye.